Hi, this is George for Cavalleria, here to celebrate the end of the notch, at least for Asus. Finally, after three years of industry pain and struggle to make a display with no cutouts, we finally have a viable solution for the ugly, ghastly notches. This device I'm holding is the Asus Zenfone 6, the 2019 version. I know, of course, about the Zenfone 6 launched back in 2014. But this one is something else. I don't understand why they share the same name, but the phones are totally different. This Zenfone 6 packs some exciting new features. And here are my first impressions after using the phone for several hours. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, the dual back camera, which comes in the front at the press of a button. I will say nothing more about its construction. Any motor inside the phone will eventually have some trouble at some point. And then the myth about phones with unreliable cameras will become permanent. Asus implemented the flip concept a little differently. It flips 180 degrees from back to front. A motor and a gearbox drive it because a spring system, for example, would have been much slower. You can control the motor to move the camera module at the angle you need between wholly closed on the back and completely open for a selfie. A glorious selfie. Why? Maybe you don't have the best position for taking a picture or you want to get a better angle. I think that all the process of carefully pressing the camera button, aiming for the perfect angle, is very slow and cumbersome and kind of boring. Wouldn't it just be better to point your phone in a blink of an eye? Let's take a closer look at the hardware specs. I know you're interested in that too. So, we start of course with the cameras. Here are two of them. One is a 13 megapixel ultra wide, 125 degrees field of view. And the other one is an average 48 megapixels with a Sony sensor, an IMX 568, the best in class. We have two focus methods with the system inside the sensor that dual pixel autofocus, which is also helped by a laser sensor in low light. We'll be back with in-depth tests as soon as we get it for a longer period of time. But from what we saw, the pictures look pretty good. Same goes for the selfies, as long as you don't have dark hair like me. Because all modern IMX568 sensors turn my hair into blonde or something in between. I promise you, I did wash my hair before going to the shoot and my hair is always black, never changes color. The display is 6.4 inches and has very slim bezels. Of course, they didn't have to struggle to include another front camera or the notch. The display area is 92%, one of the best in the industry. Asus used an IPS display covered by Gorilla Glass 5, no useless curves, and yes, it has a very good image quality. I first thought I was looking at an AMOLED display, that's how good it is. The processor, top choice, Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 with a maximum of 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of memory. Bonus, you can also add a micro SD card along with the two SIM cards. Another thing I liked in Zenfone 6 is the customizable button on the left side. It can be used for switching between the flashlight on or off, a silent button similar to the iPhones, or even Opal Google Assistant. No Bixby option. You will soon be able to add even more functions after a software update. The battery is huge with 5000 milliamps and quick charge 4.0. And that means it's speedy. Honestly, it is maybe the only flagship we know with such a big battery. And this is why they killed wireless charging because it didn't fit. That will surely last you a full day of intense work and gaming for most sophisticated users. I think it's a better idea to just have a bigger battery and so it will last you through the day and come home with 20%. We all know the batteries hate it when you go below 20%. It's just like my wallet. And this is how we get to pricing. How much is the new Asus Zenfone 6? Probably somewhere below 700 US dollars for the lower spec model. An excellent price for a top performance phones. The top takeaways, flip camera, big battery with a decent price. A top competitor for the OnePlus 7 Pro and all the other big names. So, do you like it? Will you buy it? Tell us in a comment down below, hit the like button and share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe for more videos.
Yes, I'm a Romanian. And this is Romanian accent, not Russian accent. No Bulgarian. No, no Bulgarian, no. We love GSM Arena. We love Fon Arena. This is Romania. We're still learning English. Eventually, we will get there. Hi, Thank you for subscribing. Okay, our English is improving day by day. Just bear with us. Bear with us. We'll get there. It's worth it, I guess.